Have you ever wondered how a 300-year-old dynasty could crumble within a matter of days? Picture, if you will, the Romanov dynasty. For three centuries, they held sway over Russia, a family of immense power and prestige. At the helm during the final years was Nicholas II, a man who believed in absolute monarchy, ruling with an iron fist, deaf to the cries of his people. But beneath the glittering surface, unrest was brewing. The divide between the wealthy and the poor grew wider, discontent bubbling over like a pot left too long on the stove. The people were tired, tired of poverty, tired of autocracy. They yearned for change, for a voice, for a say in their own destinies. And then World War I descended, throwing Russia into chaos. The country was unprepared, its people ill-equipped for the horrors of war. This was the final straw. As Russia plunged into the chaos of World War I, the stage was set for a revolution that would forever change the course of history. Picture this, Russia, 1917, a country on the brink and a dynasty unaware of its impending doom. The February Revolution was the first of two revolutions in Russia that year. It was a wave of mass political and social unrest that swept through vast areas of the Russian Empire. The uprising was primarily caused by Russia's continued involvement in World War I and the associated food and fuel shortages. The Romanovs, under the leadership of Tsar Nicholas II, were oblivious to the growing discontent. The Tsar was more involved in the war effort, leaving the administration of his vast empire in the hands of an ineffective bureaucracy. The situation reached a boiling point and on the 15th of March, Nicholas II abdicated his throne, marking the end of the Romanov dynasty that had ruled Russia for over 300 years. The power vacuum was quickly filled by the provisional government, a temporary coalition of several political factions. However, they were not the only ones with their eyes on the prize. The Bolsheviks, under the leadership of Vladimir Lenin, were gaining momentum. They promised peace, land and bread, a simple yet powerful mantra that resonated with the war-weary and hungry citizens. The stage was set for a showdown. The Bolsheviks, with their radical ideals and promises of a better future, were a force to be reckoned with. The Romanovs may have been out of power, but their troubles were far from over. The Romanovs, once the rulers of all Russia, now found themselves at the mercy of the very people they once ruled. As the dust of revolution settled, the Romanov family, the last of the Russian monarchy, were arrested and confined under the watchful eyes of the Bolsheviks' Red Guard. The once magnificent Tsar Nicholas II, his wife Alexandra, and their five children Olga, Tatyana, Maria, Anastasia and Alexei were held captive in a house in Yekaterinburg. The family, stripped of all royal privileges, lived under constant surveillance, their fate hanging like a sword of Damocles. The decision to execute the Romanovs was not made lightly. The Bolsheviks believed that by eliminating the royal bloodline, they would extinguish any hope of a royalist resurgence. On the fateful night of July 17, 1918, the family, along with four loyal servants, were led down into a basement under the pretext of a photograph. What ensued was a brutal execution that shocked the world. The Romanovs were no more. Their demise marked a significant turning point in the Russian Revolution. The execution sent a powerful message to the masses, a stark reminder of the revolution's unwavering resolve to dismantle the old order. And so Russia woke up to a new dawn, a dawn without a monarchy. With the execution of the Romanovs, the final chapter of a 300-year-old dynasty was closed and a new era was ushered in. So, what happens when a dynasty falls and a revolution takes hold? The aftermath of the Romanov execution was a period of tumultuous change. The fall of the dynasty left a power vacuum which was swiftly filled by the Bolsheviks. The establishment of the Soviet Union represented a seismic shift in the global balance of power, carving out a new path that was starkly different from the past. Under the new regime, Russia underwent a radical transformation. The monarchy was replaced by a socialist system which sought to redistribute wealth and power to the working class. The economy was planned centrally, a stark departure from the previous system of free market capitalism. 
Yet the aftermath was not without its challenges. The new regime faced internal opposition and external pressures, leading to the Russian Civil War and the eventual establishment of a totalitarian state. The end of the Romanov dynasty marked a turning point in history, paving the way for the rise of the Soviet Union and fundamentally altering the course of the 20th century.